Uh, my name is David Daig. On Bungie.net, I'm Deej. I manage the Bungie community. Uh, we're bringing them all into the brave new world of Destiny later on this year on September 9th. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I've inherited the mantle of community manager. You know, Bungie likes to bring people from our community to talk to the people who are passionate about our games. Uh, you know, it's been an honor to assume that position and uh, take people from being, you know, in the Halo Nation to understanding what Destiny is and making them fans of this brand new next generation Bungie shooter. Well, you know, there's a lot of themes that you'll probably recognize from great Bungie games. We cast you in the role of the hero. Uh, there are futuristic themes of science fiction. You know, you can see power armor, you can see fantastic weapons. But we are infusing this brave new world with some new themes that we're having a lot of fun playing with. Uh, there are themes of myth and magic and mystery, uh, very much some fantasy elements that are coming into play. Uh, when you look at the heroes, when you look at the guardians of the last safe city, you can see heraldic knights on a quest more than a super soldier on a mission. Uh, and that's given our artists a lot of new things to play with. Uh, it's given our activity designers some great new experiences to put in the hands of the player. Uh, exploring dungeons, conquering alien strongholds to take down a boss. Uh, we've been able to create a far more elaborate and diverse experience than some of the other things that we've delivered in the past. Um, all enabled by a brand new next generation engine that we've built from the ground up to be social and cooperative. So as you're on your adventure, the matchmaking that's operating behind the scenes seamlessly will bring you together with other guardians who will be your reinforcements during your most desperate moments. So for Destiny, matchmaking isn't just about matching you up with teammates and opponents for a competitive engagement. It's also about delivering to you your ally when you need it most without you having to even ask for it. it you know, there was a time when Destiny was going to be strictly a fantasy game. We were drawing castles, we were drawing knights wearing capes, wielding, you know, swords of legend with, you know, reputations like Excalibur. And then uh, over time, we were missing that science fiction flair. You know, we were missing the ships, we were missing the weapons, you know, we were missing, uh, you know, the futuristic elements of the armor, you know, and the, and the power of that. So uh, we decided that we could play in both of those spaces. You know, we could create a space opera that brought together you know, the, future, the futuristic soldier with the heraldic knight and, uh, you know, try to create something that, uh, you know, tickled both sides of the brain. The game has reportedly cost half a billion dollars or so. Reportedly. Reportedly, yep. Yeah. Rumored. Yeah. Um, it's been in development Rumored for a, a long time. Word, actually. Yeah. <laughs> actually, can I set the record straight on that? Oh, please do. Yeah. <clears throat> if you look at uh, this beautiful booth where we're hanging out, you know, and we've got this, you know, this perch overlooking uh, the crucible, you can see evidence of how ambitious a partner Activision has been. Uh, you know, between Bungie and Activision, you got raw ambition. We've got big plans. We both dream big. Uh, it's been great to work with Activision. Uh, when you talk about a $500 million investment, we are talking about the life cycle of this product. We are talking about a game that it unfolds over years and years and years. So if we do our jobs right, if we earn the right to put a number on the box, years from now, when people say that they've been playing Destiny for 10 years and we've been to all these E3s and we've eaten the pizza and hung out in the booth, we'll look back on that and we'll count all the money that we had to spend to go on that adventure. That was the number that was being described. Destiny's development budget is not $500 million. So please play Destiny. Please know that we are trying to make a, me and a game that's more ambitious than anything we've ever built, a bigger world than we've ever given you to explore. But when you explore that world, you should not be looking for the $500 million price tag. That's just not how this works. The first thing that you'll do in Destiny is uh, a story mission. It will introduce you to the world. Uh, it'll introduce you to the ghost, your mechanical wingman, uh, you know, your guide along this adventure. Um, you will become a guardian. You will meet the people in the last safe city on Earth. <coughs> As your adventure progresses, you will unlock new destinations and new activities. You play to strike, invade an alien stronghold, battle through wave after wave of hostile aliens until you can take down their boss. Now, if you can do that, you earn rewards that will change the way you look, give you more dangerous and powerful ways to fight, new armor with skills and abilities, uh, new weapons with you know, explosive firepower. 
At that point, we'll start opening these destinations to you wide so that you can explore them at your free will. You can go into every corner of those destinations. You can plunder them for their secrets and their treasures. When you become powerful enough, perhaps you enter the competitive arena, what we call the crucible, and enjoy many different game modes within the competitive structure. That's a completely separate activity from the rest of the game. Because when your back's up against the wall and you feel like that boss is about to overcome you, the last thing we want is another guardian to show up and spoil your sport or ruin your fun. Now the end game of all of this is what, something that we're calling a raid. I can't tell you about that because it's a puzzle in and of itself. I can tell you that you'll want to come with your most powerful guardian build and five other people who are sorted likewise, be ready to fight as a team. That six man fire team, that six player combat unit is going to need to work together to accomplish probably the most challenging thing that we've ever thrown at uh, our community. Um, at the center of all those activities is the tower. Uh, it's a social hub. You get to enjoy your character in third person, you know, and answer the question, how awesome am I? You know, strut around, show people your gear, uh, and then acquire new things. Go to the vendors in the tower or the story agents that represent the factions of the last safe city on Earth and acquire from them the things that will make you even more of a badass. This entire game is uh, a manifestation of community. Uh, you can enjoy Destiny by yourself if you want. If playing with other players is something that does not interest you, you can be a fire team of one in some of the activities that we just mentioned. Everything that you do, however, will be occurring in this living social world that we've built as the setting for the game. So we're going to have people who have encounters with each other when they least expect it. Obviously, when you think about community, you think about people who share a common place, a common destination, that being the game, of course. But everything in Destiny is a place where you can meet other people. So we'll see how different players come together into this experience. People will treat it like, you know, an arena. People will treat it like a storybook. People will treat it like a social lounge. And uh, there will be places where they can come together and all share those experiences and observe each other and immediately say, I can tell from your gear that you're a veteran of the competitive activity. You look at me and you're like, you look like a tribal warlord. There are horns on your helmet. Where'd you get that stuff? It's like, you need to do more strikes on the most difficult level. And by ab admiring each other and observing each other, we can make those social connections that might lure us into an activity that we've never tried before. You know, I've never played games where I just roam around and do whatever I want. I've always been just like a PvP guy. But Destiny can, you know, by virtue of the fact that we make friends with each other, you can say, hey, let's go explore and do some of the side missions. There's stuff that will blow your mind. Uh, so the community will be participants in this game. It could very well be that your favorite character in Destiny will be one of your buddies, you know, whose character is dressed in elaborate exotic armor, who always saves your ass when you need it most, and hopefully vice versa. So we're letting people become actual players in the story of the game. It's going to be an interesting summer for our community. Uh, we are currently sending people into the Destiny First Look Alpha. Uh, we're giving them a thin little slice of the overall experience. But they'll be able to explore all of old Russia, all of the playable real estate that we've built into that mysterious place. Uh, they'll get to think about how that landscape tells a story about when humankind was rushing out into the solar system to colonize worlds. Uh, they'll have one story mission to enjoy. Uh, they'll have the competitive multiplayer to experience for the first time. Now, if they miss that boat, uh, they will be able to play in the Destiny Beta on July 17th on all four consoles. We have PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. And we'll send them into that world in waves so that we can sort of reach the overall population gradually. And uh, we're all preparing, of course, for the eventual launch of the game on September 9th later on this year. At that point in time, we lose total control of all of this. Uh, this whole new world becomes the property of our community, and we get to observe them, we get to watch and uh, enjoy and be surprised by their more interesting interactions, and then start to get inspired as to how we can support that stuff over the longer term.